Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is finally October, my favorite month of the year because, ta-da, it's almost Halloween. So I know this year it's not gonna be the same as any other year. We're probably not gonna be out celebrating as we usually would, but that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy a little bit of Halloween creativity. So I thought I would create this look it was touch and go with this one when I started it and uh, you'll see in the video now how it progresses um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out so please keep watching if you want to see how I create this look and please subscribe if you want to see more Halloween tutorials coming from me this month. So it is the 1st of October, I am way behind schedule, usually I would have had 31 days of Halloween already created in June and here we are. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this video done and uploaded today. Let's see how it goes. So I'm starting off with um, a nude pencil just to sketch out what I want to do. Now I've got a little bit of a guideline. I'm going to start painting. I'm using the Silly Farm Fab Face Paints. Oh my god, you can't even see. I'm so bad at filming. OMG. I'm just like painting away and like not even showing you what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's good. Now I'm using the Fire Red. I'm just using some yellow and white to add the tea. So now that I've got like the base colors down, I'm just gonna add the uh, ruffles around his neck, doing like a rough sketch. You're filling that in with white face paint, again very rough. I'm going to be going over all of this with eyeshadow to, to shade it so that's kind of when it all comes to life. I'm going to start to fill in the drain around the face um, in black face paint and then obviously with the eyeshadow I'm going to um, Add all the shading and shadows, which is what makes it really look more realistic. I'm just going to go around the black with some grey, so this is going to create the um, pavement. Now, using the James Charles Morphe palette, I'm going to be adding lots of shadow just so that this um, starts to look a little bit more realistic and also like he's you know, in the dream. So I'm gonna come back to these bits after because I don't want it to um, crack while I'm moving my hand. And I'm gonna use the nude eyeliner pencil um, to sketch out the little uh, Georgie here. So now I'm going to start working on the face and I'm going to do like a half-half type of situation. I'm just going to draw a little rough line. So now for this little pop of beauty right here, we're going to use the NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Natural. I've not put foundation on my face for, oh my god, so long, seven months since I put foundation on. Now I'm going to set the foundation with the Huda Beauty um, loose powder. This is the shade Pound Cake. So now I'm going to put a little brow on. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. This is actually like my favourite go-to brow pencil. Um, it's just so good even for like those days when you don't want to do a proper brow. Just fill in the little gaps. And there's a little brush on the other end, which I love. Now I'm just going to go over them with a clear um, mascara. So I'm going to be using the James Charles palette for the eyeshadow. I'm going to start off with 
these two sheets like as a bit of a transition and then I'm going to be going into the red sheets and now I'm going to use the peachy shimmer sheets for the inner corner and also the brow bone. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of contour. And then also a little bit of blush. Now I just need to add a shadow around this black edge. Oops. Oopsie. So I'm just going around with um, some brown eyeshadow. Now I'm just going around the edge line with a little bit of um, very faint white face paint just to highlight some of the edges. Now using the Melt Cosmetics All Day Everyday Liner in the shade Scandal, I'm just going to fill in the waterline. And I'm also going to outline my lips. I'm just going over the top with this NYX Whipped Lip Gloss in more of a red. And then using the same red eyeshadow, adding the balloon up here. So now I'm going to add a fine red line with face paint so that this balloon string comes all the way down. And I'm doing it while the eyes are open, because if you see when it's closed, it goes that way. So if I drew it while it was closed, it wouldn't be straight when it was open. So I'm just gonna fill in this eye uh, waterline with black eyeliner pencil. So now that I've filled in everywhere with the black paint, I'm just going to apply one lash. These are Pretty Cosmetics Faux Mink Lashes. I'm just going to add the one lash and then we're done. Now I'm finishing off with the Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara and I just like to use the mascara to kind of glue the lashes together. So I really hope that you liked this look and that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss out on the next video. There will be another Halloween tutorial coming very soon. See you soon. PPS, don't get duo lash glue in your hair because, yeah, not fun. <laughs>